welcome to Forza Licious, the show where we test cars from Forza games like Forza 4 and Forza Horizon. Today, we're off to Odessa, Texas, and the Proving Grounds track, nearly four miles in length, and it's just a big tri-oval. We're going to test some amazing supercars today, cars that go well over 200 miles an hour. Every car in today's event is a car that has a 10 rating on speed in Forza 4. Every car we're driving today is also a road legal car, not a race car. Although, some of these cars definitely blur the line. I'm going to be driving the SSC Ultimate Aero, a 2010 model capable of 260 miles an hour. We'll see if I can get it up that fast in a race against the world's fastest cars. In this race today we also have the Bugatti Veyron SS. This is the car that replaced the Ultimate Aero as the fastest production car in the world. This is the Hennessy Venom. This is the car I would have drove because I love it, but it is unruly. Even with traction control on it's hard to drive because it's just so powerful. But anyway, I'll be rooting for the Hennessy to beat the Veyron as well. Take a look at this, a car from Sweden, not called Volvo. This is the Koenigsegg Agera. I probably butchered that name, but that's okay because the car is going to butcher the track with speeds well over 225 miles an hour for sure. No top speed showdown would be complete without a Lamborghini. This is the Aventador LP704 all-wheel drive. And boy, it's probably the sexiest car of the bunch. Perhaps this is the car that started the crazy top speed wars. Way back in 1997, McLaren launched the F1. This is the GT version, and it will fly. You gotta love the British. They always gotta get in on the action. And this is the 2010 Noble M600. It's a really, really fast car. From the company that gave us the Zonda, here's their latest creation. I won't even try to pronounce it. <laughs> Never mind. It's fast and it is sexy. It's not exactly a Porsche. It's a rough. Looks like a 911. Kinda is. And this one is amazingly fast. From the amazing speed freak Steve Celine, here is the S7. This isn't even the fastest model. They have a twin turbo model that makes 750 horsepower. It's just not in Forza 4. This one, however, will go way, way, way past 200 miles an hour. The TVR Cerbera Speed 12 was a concept car for the road. 12 cylinders of amazing power. The Ultima GTR, a lightweight British chassis and a big American V8. Always a great combination. And this car is awesome. Okay, here's how it's going to go down. We're lining up the cars with the lowest PI rating in the front and then the highest PI rating in the back. At the start, the first car will go and then each subsequent car will be delayed by one second. This allows every car to get a good clean launch and some nice clean air to accelerate up to speed as quickly as they can. Remember, all of these cars will go well over 200 miles an hour. The track is 3.96 miles in length. We'll run two laps uh, to find a winner. And remember, the fastest car with the best time may not end up winning the race simply because of the delay. Let's take a look. Watch the Bugatti and the GTR battle it out throughout this race. The GTR was basically flat out all the way around the track. The Bugatti didn't corner as well, but had amazing top speed on the straightaway.
Oh, the Bugatti has to take the high line because it doesn't handle well. And now she's stuck in traffic. And the Hennessy is squirrely. I told you that car was tough to handle. Oh, what a close call. Sideways at 200 miles an hour. If that doesn't scare you, nothing will. The Venom GT sideways action slowed him way down, allowing cars to pass. They're still at it, the Bugatti in the Ultima. So the top speed king today was actually the Hennessy Venom GT. 258 miles an hour was the fastest it hit. I got 257 out of the Aero and uh, the uh, Veyron was third fastest uh, top speed at 255. All three over 250 miles an hour. I managed to post the best ET over the 7.92 miles at 2 minutes 12 seconds flat and the Hennessy Venom, despite the near crash, was second at 2 minutes 21. I wonder what would have happened if he was able to race that clean. <laughs>